Yo, what is going on guys? So recently, I've been asked a lot of questions about how this camera, the Canon EOS R6, handles in heat and whether their artificial overheat timer is actually a real thing. So I tend to judge things based off of real world use and despite everything that's been going on online about this camera, I decided to go ahead and pick it up anyway. The image is absolutely beautiful and that's kind of one of the main deciding factors for me. But uh, yeah, so today I think I'm gonna talk about that a little bit, my experience with the overheating on the Canon EOS R6 and whether or not the internet keyboard warriors are actually right. But first we're gonna go downtown and meet up with a friend. Everything you see today is coming out of this camera, the Canon EOS R6. We're gonna do some different things, test out the uh, 1080, 120, and the 4K60 as well as the 4K24. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and uh, we'll also be reading some comments from our last video today, so uh, stay tuned for that. Quick. What's your favorite season? Season? Fall. Duh. Of course it's fall. That's why we're here. Yes. <laughs> so in honor of fall, we're actually up here at this really cool spot in our hometown. There's some amazing trees and the sun's hitting it just right. So we're going to try to get as many really cool shots as we can before I start talking about, you know, that overheating issue and my real world experiences with it. So being in front of a camera a lot for the past year, I've really gotten used to it, but I was kind of curious to see what Sheridan here, I don't know if I've told you her name, but her name's Sheridan Blackburn. I'll link her Instagram down below as well. Um, but I really had a weird question of what it's like being in front of a camera for the first time. So yeah, what has your experience been so far? You know, it's so much different than like modeling because there are people posing you and telling you what to do. But with the moving camera and it's getting closer to your face and it's asking you questions, it's it's nerve wracking. It's definitely a lot more than just posing. Well, there you go. It's definitely not as easy as it looks for you guys that have never been in front of a camera. Definitely try it out. Definitely get you out of your comfort zone. And for me, I think the most awkward part is when other people are walking by and you just are, I don't know, in front of the camera. They just don't know how to react. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, get to the overheating part in just a minute. We're just kind of enjoying this amazing weather out here before it starts getting cold in the winter. I just want to take every moment to take advantage of it.
Well, we found finally found a stopping place and I figured that this would be a good time to talk about the overheating issues of this camera. Honestly, um, the internet was blowing up when this and the R5 first came out and they were saying it was unusable, you couldn't use it in any kind of production work, but I have come to completely disagree with those statements. To be honest, of course, those people sitting in a studio doing all these scientific tests are gonna tell you something different, but for those of us that use these cameras in the real world for their actual purpose, it has served me absolutely fantastic. I've been out filming in 85, 90 degree weather while hiking and have not had a single overheating problem. The most that it's done is there's a little timer on the screen and that has got down to 10 minutes, but I just simply turn the camera off and boom, I have my full 30 minute recording time back. So for those of you worried about overheating on the Canon R6, I would just go ahead and pull the trigger. It's giving you an amazing, amazing value, incredible image out of this camera, insane colors as you've probably seen throughout um, my videos on this channel. And yeah, so I would highly, highly recommend this camera. Overheating issues basically have been a non-problem for me. And we're just gonna continue on our little walk here. If this is what you came here for and this is the value you were looking for, then go ahead and click out. But if you guys are enjoying this content, be sure to like and subscribe as well as drop down below in the comments. I usually read comments before every single video. So if you want a chance to be featured, then yeah, drop below in the comments and tell me what you think. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I put a lot of hard work into it and the location was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for Sheridan for coming out with me and getting those amazing shots. She was a heck of a model. Can't wait to do some more work with her again. But don't worry, I did not forget. We're actually gonna read off some comments real quick to end the video. So we're gonna start out with Shaq Vlog. Great work, it's really nice from Japan. Yo, I really appreciate you Shaq. Thanks so much for tuning into my last video. Um, I love seeing people from all over the world coming in here and watching this content. Um, Kafala, great video, quality looks good. I wish it had it. Aperture priority mode for video recording. Listen, man, me too, but typically I shoot all manual, so it's not that big of a deal for me personally. But yeah, it's something to keep in mind with this camera. It does not have aperture priority mode. Bridger Gransbury, this is epic. Keep it up, dog. Missing the war zone, but love the direction you're going towards. Yo, Bridger, I really appreciate you, bro. If you guys didn't know, if you're new to the channel, we used to do a lot of gaming content and we kind of shifted away from that a little bit. I found something that I really do enjoy. We might be doing a little bit of, of it in the future on Twitch and things like that. But yo, Bridger, I really appreciate you turning, tuning into the last video along with a lot of the other homies. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate the gas, my guy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time and have a great day. Peace.